How is it everyone? Welcome back to second review of Prehistoric Planet. A mild spoiler ahead so don't watch this if you don't want to get spoiled. The second episode took place in arid desert where the dinosaur must survive the heat and find for mates. There are many dinosaurs revealed on this second episode and the first show up is the Dreadnoughtus, a giant sauropod that um, walk in group in the middle of desert and looking for females. And then sleeping turbosaurus that was disturbed by small desert lizard and velociraptors, a small dinosaur that feed on insects, a mononychus, large hadrosaurus, pars polia, and small hadrosaurus, cesernosaurus, and parparitectulus the pterosaur that was also appeared on previous episode. Unidentified Tatanosaurus, Cherizinosaurus, and identified um, Astarsid, probably changing of Cherus if you notice there. But if you found me, just let me know. The second episode mostly talk about um, looking for mates like the third notice, um, fight to death, and a sneaky purple tactulous. Um, that not so looking great but also tries to mating. The episode also talk about surviving to find food and water resources. The herosaur must walk far to find water and the mononychus must adapt it with the new food sources. The whole story is really enjoyable with a little bit of comedy and cuteness make it more alive. I like the design of Mononychus, especially the face that would be referenced to Owl and a cute little lizard tried so hard to catch flies without a way to turbosaurus and avoid the velociraptors. While the cunning barbary tactiles are trying to find a female but in disguise look like the female to avoid at the top male. That's pretty sneaky but it was explained on bonus clip that dinosaur or any other prehistoric reptiles could do sneaky thing just to get the females like some modern animals do. A weird thing uh, that I just found from this episode is the air sacs on dreadnoughtus snakes to attack the females. Never thought that the dreadnoughtus could have that because of their hollow bones. The extraordinary crest of Parparitectalus explained to attract the female, while the other pterosaur had it for different purposes, like Dr. Liz Martin Silverstone said it, uh, it might be to help the animal to fly like reducing drag. Also, this the first to see dinosaur with feathers after the baby T-Rex. The Velociraptor and Mononychus are designed with feathers. Well, um, that's how it should look like. Overall, it's great. I love the concept of sneaky and cuteness. Um, my favorite scene is the lizard that was trying to get food without waking the turbosaurs. Alright, so let me know what you thought on this and what's your favorite scene from this episode so if you really enjoyed this video please give it a like if new to my channel please subscribe for more we are having a review for next uh, five episodes of press planet so if you don't want to miss it click the bell and i see you next time um, auf Wiedersehen